everyone, Amanda here. Today we are going to be doing a body weight Tabata Express. Let's get started with our warm up. Starting out with a nice easy march, lift your chest and roll your shoulder blades back. Breathing evenly, we're going to add a double punch. Double punching here, working through that chest. Exhale, inhale, that's it. Keep breathing, pushing through it. Two more. From here, let's step touch side to side. Now you can add your arms and a little bit of a scoop if you like, getting nice and warm. Adding that bicep curl if it feels right for you. Keep going. Two more. From here, march it out. Now we're going to add a high punch and a chest press, alternating through the range of motion, warming up through those shoulders, making sure that our posture is strong. You got it. One more of each and keep marching. Bring the arms into a T, pulse it out. Pushing the hands down toward the floor, keeping the chest lifted and squeezing the shoulder blades back. Nice easy breathing here. And shake it out. Our first move, we're gonna take it into pulse squats. So we're gonna have a wide stance, toes flared. We're gonna go 20 seconds on pulsing down. In between, we've got punches. So let's start our timer. Check your knees, make sure that your knees and toes are pointing in the same direction. Heels planted, chest lifted, let's go. Squat it down, pulse. Now in the pulsing squat, keep your chest lifted and press your heels into the floor. We're going for 20 seconds each, but we have a 10 second break in between for recovery. Keep going, three, two, one. Gently come up out of it. We're going to go into one more round of squats before we head into our punches. So shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees, squatting down. Here we go. Stay low here. Push through it. Working through the quads and the glutes. You'll get better glute activation if you keep pressing those heels into the floor, keeping the weight distributed on the back of the foot. Almost there. Two, one. All right, shake it out. We're going to bring our feet in a little bit. We're going to go for fast alternating punches in five. Let's get ready. Two, one, let's go. Now, I want you to really push your heart rate here. In a Tabata workout, it should be close to maximal or bringing you to fatigue after each round. Whew. Really push that pace. You can do it. Three, two, one. One, Ooh, all right, shake it out. 10 second break and we're going again with our punches. So we still have, still have a wide stance, but not as wide as our squat. Get ready, let's go. Push the pace. Whew. Go as fast as you can. You can do it. Whew. The Tabata rounds are 20 seconds. So we're really pushing our heart rate, but we've got that recovery, so use it. Almost there, two. One, Whew. all right, wide in the stance. We've got two more rounds of pulse squats, toes out, slightly squatting down, shoulders back. Let's get low, here we go, pulse it out. That's it, working through the quads and glutes, pressing the heels into the floor. Whew. Stay low, chest out, try not to round the back. Whew. Open up through the shoulders by pushing the chest out. You can do it, two. One, Whew. all right, shake out your legs. There's one more round. Whew. All right, let's get ready. Chest lifted, shoulders back, slightly squatting. Let's go, nice and low here. This is it, this should fatigue the legs. Whew. Stay low, stay low. Whew. You've got this, keep it up. Whew. Push it, push it, five more seconds. You can do it, three. Two, one, Whew. all right, two more rounds of punches. So elbows in, wide stance, 
slightly squatting. Three, two, one, let's go. Get that heart rate up. Push that pace. Short, quick jabs. You got it. Keep breathing. Five more seconds, right to the end. Don't slow. Two, one. Whew. All right, shake it out. One more round. Wide stance. Slightly squatting, so there's a soft knee. Elbows in, shoulders back. Let's go. Whew. Push it. Last round of punches. Get your heart rate up as high as you can here. Whew. Halfway. Really pick it up here. Right to the end, right to the end. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, grab a water break, catch a breather. We'll take you to our next round. Up next, we have a bent over W. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna fold forward from the hips. Palms are facing in with the elbows tucked in. And we're gonna lift up into that W, squeezing through the mid back. In between, we're gonna get that heart rate up with low impact, fast feet. Let's start our timer. Four rounds of each. All right. W's feet shoulder width apart, fold forward, elbows in, chest out. Let's go, lift up, squeeze, pull, pull, that's it. There should be tension through the mid back and the back of the shoulder blades every time you lift up. Squeeze, maintain a strong core here, two, one, shake it out. Give your lower back a little bit of a break. And then we're going to fold forward again. Feet shoulder width apart. Elbows are going to be in. Let's fold forward. Chest out. Here we go. Lift and squeeze. Pulling with the mid back muscles. Whew. Exhale as you lift up and inhale as you lower. Keep the chest out. Five more seconds. Don't slow the pace. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. We're going into fast feet. You can do this one more upright, slightly squatting down. It's really up to you. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lifting the heels. So the toes stay connected to the floor. And we're moving through that upper body as though we're sprinting. And the legs are lifting to squeeze the calves. Push that pace. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Give the lower back a little bit of a break. We're going again, fast feet. Feet shoulder width apart. Fold forward slightly, elbows in. Ready, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Strong pace here. Push yourself. Remember, you have a 10 second rest. Push yourself on the 20 so that you need that rest. You can do it five more seconds, don't slow down. Three, two, one. All right, shake out your lower back. We're going again to our bent over W's, feet shoulder width apart, fold forward, elbows in, shoulders back. Let's go, lift and squeeze, pull, pull, that's it. Back is flat, chest is out. Brace the trunk by keeping the core tight, belly button to spine. You can do it, five more seconds here, push it, two, one. All right, alleviate that lower back. We're going again, one more round of W's. Feet shoulder width apart, fold forward. Palms in, chest out, let's go. 20 seconds on the clock. Pull, pull, really squeeze every time. Imagine that there's a pop can between your shoulder blades and you're trying to crush it. Almost there, two. One, Whew. all right, let that heart rate come down a little bit, fast feet, feet shoulder width apart, slightly squatting, elbows tucked in, let's go, sprint it out. Whew. If your lower back is getting fatigued, you can also do this one in a more upright position. It's really up to you. I'm just in a slightly squatting movement here. Whew. Push the pace, push the pace. Five more seconds, three, two, one, oh, shake it out, one more. Feet shoulder width apart, fold forward, elbows in, 
Let's go, push it. 20 seconds. You've got this. Breathe. 10 seconds to go. Pick up your pace as much as you can. Right to the end. You got this. Two, one. All right, shake it out, grab a water break. We're gonna go to our next round. Now our next move is going to work the upper body and we're gonna keep tension on the entire time. So when we start, we're gonna start with our palms facing outward. We're gonna lift the chest. We're gonna push, push, pull, pull. We're always leading with the palms. So we're going to rotate the hands as we do the motion. So we're always leading and switching. Then in between, we've got a lunge back with a touchdown. If the depth of the lunge is too much for you, you can also do a step back with a forward reach. That is an option. So let's get ready. I'm going to give myself a bit of space away from my ceiling. We're going to start with the arms up, lift the chest, standing tall, palms facing out. Let's go down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up, push, push. That's it. So it's a push and a pull. Whew. Squeeze. Whew. Tension on that upper body. Rest. Whew. All right, shake it out. We're going to go again. Feet shoulder width apart. Starting palms out. Lift the chest. Standing tall. Here we go. Down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up. Keep it going. Down, in, out, up. You've got this. Push. That's it. Tension on and rest. Whew. All right, we're going to that lunge with the step back. I'm going to keep one foot planted. I'm going to step back and touch down with the same side. Ready? Here we go. Lunge down, touch the floor. Lunge down, touch the floor. That's it. Breathing through it. Go at your pace. You don't have to match mine. And the depth is up to you. You can also reach forward with that step back if that feels right for you. And rest. All right, we're going to go other side. So this time the other foot stays planted. I'm going to step it back, touch down. Ready? Let's go. That's it. Try to keep your head up and your chest out. That will help to prevent rounding. But if there is a little bit of rounding through the back in this one, don't worry too much. We're going to do that nice big stretch in the hip flexor. Rest. All right, let's go back to upper body. So feet shoulder width apart. Palms are out. Lift the chest. Standing tall. Let's go. Down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up. Explosive movements with the shoulders and the lats. Push. That's it. Two, one. All right, shake it out. We're going once more. I think this move is deceptively challenging. All right, arms up, palms out. Lift the chest. Let's go. Down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up. Keep it up. Down, in, out, up. You got it. Down, in, out, up. Breathe. Five more seconds. Whew. Almost there. Rest. All right, back to lunges. So you can step back, forward reach, or stick with me. Same side touches down and steps back. Let's go. Again, try to look forward so that you don't round through the back, but there might be a little bit of rounding. That's okay. Just try to keep that chest out as much as you can. Get that depth in every lunge. Breathing through it. Rest. All right, one more on the other side. Feet shoulder width apart. Same side, touching down and stepping back. Here we go. Now these moves are meant to be quite challenging and they are meant to get your heart rate up. So ch challenge yourself here with these lunges. 
Keep it going right to the end. Five more seconds. Almost there. Whew. All right, shake it out. Grab a water break. We're going to go into our next round. Next move is going to be a squat jack. So we're going to squat and then heel jack, squat, heel jack. And the pace is going to be fairly quick, but it's up to you. In between, we're going to fold forward into a tricep kickback. Let's get going. All right, feet shoulder width apart or just slightly wider. Tuck the hands and we're gonna squat down in two. One, let's go. Squat, jack, squat, jack, squat, jack. That's it. Once you've got that movement, try to pick up your pace. Woo, that's it. Push the heart rate. Three, two, one, shake it out. All right, we're gonna go again, squat jacks. So feet just wider than shoulder width, elbows tucked in, get ready to squat. Here we go, squat, left, squat, right, left, right, left, right, that's it. Nice and low in those squats. Explosive movement, on the up. Two, one, Ooh. triceps, catch your breath here. Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna fold forward, lift the elbows up. Hands are just outside of the rib cage. Here we go, kick it back. Push, push, that's it. Really squeezing as you extend. Focus on the tricep, chest out, flat back. Squeeze, two, one. Whew. All right, give your lower back a break. We're going triceps again. Once again, feet shoulder width apart. Fold forward, elbows up. Let's go, push, push. I want you to imagine that you're using ski poles and you're pushing off through the snow, using the back of your arm to push off from that resistance. Really squeeze as you extend. Two, one, whoo. Squat jacks, right leg lead this time. Nice and wide, elbows in, shoulders back, get ready to squat. Here we go, squat, right, squat, left, squat, right, and left. That's it. Push that heart rate. Remember, the Tabata, it's a short workout. You're gonna earn that rest. Rest. Whew. Catch your breath here. We're going again. Left leg lead this time. Elbows in, shoulders down. Let's go. Left, right, left, right. That's it. I know you're getting tired, but don't slow. Challenge yourself. That's it. Explosive upward movement. Two, one, whoo. All right, shake it out. Triceps, feet, shoulder width apart. Fold forward, elbows up nice and high, chest out. Let's go, push, push, that's it. Whew. Extend, don't let your elbows drop down. The upper arm should be parallel to the floor. Whew. Breathe, bum back, back flat. Two, one, whoo, one more. Feet shoulder width apart, fold forward, lift the elbows up, get ready, let's go. Push, push, that's it. Now we have one more round of Tabata coming up after this, but it's gonna be a little bit of an easier round heart rate wise. Keep breathing, push, push, that's it. Two, one, whoo. All right, shake it out here. So we are going to start our process on this round faster, but each round we're gonna get a little slower. So our first move, we're gonna give ourselves some room so we can side shuffle. We're gonna side shuffle if you want at a touchdown or you can just shuffle. And we're gonna go back and forth on that first round. Then in between, 
we're gonna take this into a step back with an overhead knee or an overhead a knee raise with an overhead arm. So we're gonna to start to get that heart rate down as we go. All right, let's get ready. Give yourself some room to move to the right. So shuffle, shuffle with a touchdown optional. You can also do a curl if you like. Let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, touchdown, shuffle, shuffle, touchdown. That's it. Go at your pace. This one does not have to be full out, but if you really want to keep your heart rate up, you can. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. This time I'm going to start so I can go left. Five seconds. All right, let's get ready. Two, one. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, touchdown, shuffle, shuffle, touchdown. That's it. Keep breathing. Halfway. You got this. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. On this move, we're going to start with our arms up. We're going to step back, bring the knee up, step back, bring the knee up. Get ready. Here we go. Step back, knee, step back, knee. Whew. You got this. Heart rate's going to come down a little bit on this one. That's it. Breathe. You can do it. And rest. Shake it out. We're going again. So give yourself a bit of, move, a bit of room to move back. Arms up. Lift the chest. Here we go. Step back. Knee. Step back. Knee. That's it. Keep those arms elevated. Might be a little bit of shoulder fatigue here. Keep pushing if you can. Three, two, one. All right, shuffles. We're gonna start so we have room to move. This time we're not adding that touchdown. We're just gonna do the shuffle. Two, one, let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, pause. Shuffle, shuffle, pause. That's it. You've got it. Keep breathing. Heart rate's gonna come down as we do the move. It's not super high anymore without that touchdown. Rest. All right, let's go the other direction. Give yourself a bit of space. Catch your breath here. Two, one, let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, pause. Shuffle, shuffle, pause. That's it. Go at your own speed here. You got it. Almost there. Five more seconds. And rest. All right, one more step back with the knee raise, arms up. So, arms overhead, shoulder blades back. Here we go. Step back, forward, knee, step back, forward, knee. That's it. You can do it. So this round, again, not super tough, serving a little bit of a cool down, still keeping our heart rate elevated. Rest, one more, but not as high as our previous rounds of Tabata. All right, one last one before we stretch it out. Quick stretch after this. Arms up, let's go, step it back, knee, step it back, knee, that's it. You can do it. Last 20, last 20. And then we've got a quick stretch. Push through, two, one. Ah, all right, grab a water break, grab a breather. We're gonna start our stretches. Let's start with our hips. Right leg back, left leg forward, hands on the hips, shoulders back, and then tilt your hip bones forward. We're just gonna do a couple of major muscle groups here. So now that we're stretching out our hips, Take the same side as the back leg, and we're gonna do double duty by stretching out the back. So you're getting that hip flexor, and you're getting the lats at the same time. Leaning into it with the palm facing up. And lower it down, other side. So step back, 
push the hip bones forward, pull the shoulders and elbows back. And now that you've got that hip flexor stretch, take that hand and reach up and over. Again, double duty here. Quick workout, so we're doing some quick stretches, but we still wanna target those major muscle groups. And lower that side down, stretch out the chest, clasp your hands behind, roll the shoulder blades back, keeping that chest lifted. Try to relax your shoulders as much as you can in this position. So even though we're stretching through the front of the shoulder and the chest, it's still important to try to drop the back of the shoulder blades down so they're not creeping up near your ears. And round forward, pushing the palms out, rounding through that upper back. Again, letting that heart rate come down. Nice even breaths. And lastly, I'm gonna hold on to the wall for this stretch. If you wanna work on your balance, you can do this standing on the floor, but I'm gonna use my wall. So I'm gonna hold on to the wall here and then hold on to my shoelace and then push the knee down toward the floor. Now, a common mistake in this quad stretch is that we just kind of hold the foot and don't actively guide the knee downward. So the knee ends up kind of flaring out to the side. So I want you to actively press the knee down. And in this position, the two thighs should be aligned. So if you look, the knees will be side by side, not flaring out and not flaring forward. And lower that side down. Last quad stretch here. Again, you can hold on to the wall or a chair if that feels right for you. Hold on to your shoelaces and then actively press that knee down toward the floor. Try to relax your shoulder as much as you can in this movement. I know it's hard because we're holding on to the foot, but try not to let it creep up near the ears. We're almost there. And lower that leg down, shake it out. We're all done for today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.